so we're starting off by firstly looking at module 6. So the first dot point of module 6 is asking us to look at mut uh, mutagens. What are the different types of muta uh, mutagens and what mutations do they cause? So oh, well, we look at what mutations they cause in the next slide, but that's sort of the first big point. What are mutagens? So a uh, mutagen is an or sorry gonna sneeze um okay <laughs> it's been happening all day i feel like i need to sneeze but and then i think about it and it just goes away so apologies for that but um as i was saying so a mutagen is an organism that causes mutations um a mutagen can also be known as a mutant so there are three types of mutagens that we're looking at including chemical electromagnetic and naturally occurring so chemical mutagens include radioactive agents like uranium um, other chemicals and it causes structural changes we've got metals that including arsenic and nickel that can affect the dna replication process and finally we've got intercalating agents like um ethidium bromide which can cause frame shift mutations and we'll have a look at what frame shift mutations are in just one second um, there are also electromagnetic radiations those are like the most prominent ones they happen um, they're high energy and they can cause and they are highly penetrative they alter DNA bonding which causes the rearrangement of the structure and the, um, and now we know that you know because of the processes that are occurring in the DNA they can have a huge impact um, on on the genome and as a result cause mutations an example of an electromagnetic radiate uh, radi radiation um, mutant is UV light so radiation from the Sun can be super harmful in high doses and as a result it, it can cause pyrimidine dimer uh, dimers so that is when you would have um, the basis sort of and actually there's an image here I, don't, I was trying to explain it with my hand but i'm pretty sure i've got an image here for us so this is the electromagnetic um, spectrum and we can see that in terms of electromagnetic radiation we would know that um you know gamma rays so it goes from radio to gamma and this side um as you go along it becomes more penetrative so that's that okay moving on um so now here we go these are our pyrimidine dimers so we've got um as you can see so radiate what happens as a result of radiation to the dna so there can be hydrogen bondage breaking uh, breakage so by now as we would know that the um that the bonds are joined so the uh, the bases are they have hydrogen bonds you know holding them together so hydrogen bonds he can break they can also be pyrimidine dimers so this is when you can see the bases they turn inwards to connect to one another instead of connecting straight across um there can be a loss in basis base change cross linkage can also happen um, they can be single strand break and also protein cross linkage. So there are lots of things, things that can happen here. I would say I don't really know pyrimidine dimers, what that is, how that happens. Um, and of course, hydrogen bond breakage. And yeah, those are the, sort of the big ones that we need to know because they have a huge role, you know, in changing the structure of the DNA. Okay, moving on now to uh, inquiry question Um Two. So, how does mutation introduce new alleles into a population? So, firstly, as you can see here, these are um, the firstly the results of mutagens. So, it can have a huge impact on phenotypic uh, on phenotypic expression. Um, and as you can see here, we've got ionizing radiation that has affected the DNA. So. <laughs> We've got the X-rays or gamma rays over here breaking the single strand and also breaking the double strand. On the other hand, we've got known, uh, we've got uh, non-ionizing radiation, which causes pyrimidine dimers to form between um, thymine. So it can form between thymine, uh, thymine and um, guanine. Uh, no, yes, yes, it's always good to remember that um but this is an example here of thymine dimers so these are forming between two thymine bases so that's that <laughs> 